friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on February 15th, 2023. Welcome to another Surviving Day on the Planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well as a look at earthquakes. Having a look here, the last 48 hours on our sun, we did have a pretty sizable M-class solar flare, earth-facing position, and it created a sizable CME coronal mass ejection, which is on its way. Having a look here the last 48 hours after watching a plasma dance incoming. Sunspot regions have now crested and are in Earth-facing view. And northern region, which is the right-hand side, looks like we've got another sunspot region turning in. Looking at outgoing here. This is where we saw a lot of C-class and M-class solar flares outgoing position. It's well notable on the right-hand side there. Bottom, watch that plasma filament. Looking at multi-spectrum here, this is where we will see the flare that caused the CME, and it was a right center disk of our sun, Earth-facing equatorial region right there. So heads up, we do have a CME on its way. Amazing images brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Observing some hefty sunspots, earth-facing view right now. And as well, some cresting activity there. Looking at another light, there are no coronal holes to talk about. Right now, only the nine or so solar uh, sunspots that are sitting in an earth-facing position. I want to thank everybody for subscribing and as well for all of the love and support to the channel. Appreciate all the memberships, super chats, and as well all the likes with this channel. You're really helping this channel grow. Wouldn't be here without you guys. So much love and thank you. So this is our sunspot region right now. Watching in the northern hemisphere that fast forming a sunspot. And you can see those active equatorial sunspot regions. But look at this puppy grow and move. Solar X-ray flux. Just recently we saw another M-class solar flare after seeing two overnight. Geomagnetic activity popped up to KP5 during the day today. Looking at ISWA space prediction spiral showing that large CME taking off right at Earth. Looks like it will be arriving on the 18th. So that's a fast moving solar storm on its way to Earth right now. Looking at Alaska 2. This is where we see all the CMEs taking off from our, from our star. Sizable CME taking off on the 14th right there. And then just recently, all around, Earth-facing CME. Amazing images. Looking at the DRAP, highest frequency absorption around the world. As our sun was flaring, as I said, it stuck around in the C range for quite some time. Popping off minor CMEs, or sorry, minor solar flares. And as well, just recently, another M-class solar flare. So highly active solar cycle 25, which is a maximum solar cycle. We have not seen sunspot numbers like this since 2014, the end of our last maximum. Quick look here at the Aurora forecast for the Northern Hemisphere as it will be heightened tonight. Definitely going to see some Northern Lights tonight across Canada. Highly charged atmosphere. Looking at real-time solar wind, we're sitting at 315 kilometers per second right now after being up to about 350. 
but most notable here is the density bunches. This is where our solar storm hits us and produces the KP levels as they did hop up to KP5. Schumann resonance for today is a low power of 8. Quick look at the telemetry here. Quality of 12.9 and an amplitude of 3, power of 8. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as we've just hopped up over 200 earthquakes across the USGS map. We're going to start here with the most recent, Calama, Chile, 4.6. Minor activity through the region, 4.4 as well. Mid-Atlantic Ridge saw two 5.1 earthquakes today, both shallow, 10-kilometer depth, as well Columbia here, 5.2, 161-kilometer depth, quieting down through Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, across the U.S., not too much to talk about, minor activity moving up through northern California, Petrolia, and as well off the coast. Started off the day here with a 4.8 Pahala, Hawaii, 31 kilometer depth. That was southeast rift off the coast of Hawaii, as well a 5.2 Adak, Alaska, 35 kilometer depth. And then activity off the coast of Kamchatka here at La Sova, 4.9, 4.5. Quiet through Japan. And then our largest earthquake today, a 6.1 in Miyaga, Philippines. 20 kilometer depth, 4.9. That was out in the middle of the ocean. And then we get to the Tonga region. This is a little bit concerning. Started off the day with a 5.7. Cook Strait, New Zealand, northern New Zealand. Originally came in as a 6.3. 5.0 there as well. And then up into Fiji Islands. 525 kilometer depth. That's the deepest today. And then Na Naifu. Tonga region 5.1, 5.3, and moving southward. So Kermadec Islands, or the Kermadec Trench, has literally lit up today. Notable 4.2 there, Germ, Afghanistan. A couple earthquakes to report in Turkey, still aftershocks ringing out. 4.6 there today. As well, notable 3.1 in Fockville, South Africa. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. I'd say below average and a little bit concerning with all of this continuing activity through Tonga and the large 6.1 in the Philippines. Leave it here looking at the last seven days for earthquakes. Much love, everybody, and I hope you enjoyed tonight's update. Just a heads up. We are in a need to know what our world is up to, especially when it comes to earthquakes, natural disasters, because it's better to be aware and prepared and be ready than to be blindsided by a natural disaster. Much love and prayers for humanity. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.